Finally, we install our wall charger. Let's try it. It's on and it's running. Now we can charge our Tesla in our house anytime we want. First time charging at home. First, you can see white uh, symbol of a Tesla and then blue. And then when it's charging, it's color green. Now it's charging. Let's go inside the car so we can see in the screen what's going on. Now here, you can see it's charging. And if you notice, this line here is running, meaning to say it's charging. By the way, guys, when we charge the Tesla, we still have 40% of battery. It will take two and a half hours to complete the charging. But it's convenient for us to charge at home. We are a DIYer and this video is intended for informational purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring, always consult a professional electrician. I'm not an electrician and I cannot accept the liability. Hello everyone, this is Anyana TV. Well guys, our, our wall charger just delivered. Let's see what's inside the box. This is nice. If I'm not mistaken, this is made of glass. I have no idea, guys. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And it comes with cable. For me, guys, this is a fancy one. It's beautiful. And it comes with the instruction how to do it. Also guide how to install the wall connector. And finally, how will you going to set up your wall charger? We decided to put the wall charger in this wall. Alvin will open a small part in this wall, like this, guys. He will make a hole to let the 220 volts cable pass through to the basement. Because our circuit breaker is in the basement guys this is the hole that alvin drill so the cable will go through and this is how it looks like alvin also used a electrical box for safety and code compliance now it's time to seal the area he sparkled the area and let it dry overnight now guys, we are ready for the installation of our wall charger. Hi guys, Anyana TV here. Today, we received the Tesla wall connector charger. As you will know, um, recently Anyana got her Tesla Model Y. In doing so, we need a supercharger at home so we don't have to go to the supercharger nearby around my place or around our place. Today, I'm going to show you how I will install this in our home for our Tesla Model Y. I already pre-opened the box earlier to read ahead on how to install this. So this is the mounting frame where this one will go to the wall where we would like to install this. Uh, to install your wall charger, the most important is the location. So this is where we would like to park the car and we would like to be able to get the charger 
right here because it's on the driver's side. This is the place where I would like to install our uh, Tesla wall charger. When I was looking on our wall, because this is a pre-built garage, and I don't know what's behind it, when I open it, there's nothing at the back of this wall, but it's only a foam insulation, and then the sheet wrap, and then I have the stud right here, and another stud on this area. I don't want to put it in this area right here where there's a stud because it's too far out uh, to stretch the cable to the charging port. I decided to choose this area closer to our garage door. If you will notice, I put a two by two uh, plywood. Uh, this is a plywood uh, that you can buy at Home Depot. So what I did is I passed it to where the stud are. This is the place where I would like to mount the wall charger. This Tesla wall charger, including the cable, is about almost 12 pounds. So that's kind of heavy. Mounting it on a wall, just by the sheet rack, over time, it will fall off. So in that case, it's better off to put a board wherein I could mount permanently to the stud, and this is where I'm gonna mount the uh, Tesla power charger, since so that it will have a stable wall wherein I'm, I know that it's not going to fall off anytime. As uh, Anyana, she wanted something secured. Now let's go to the installation. Let me show you this, guys. This is the mounting plate. On the mounting plate, this is where you're gonna connect this 220 line. Uh, there are like three line, load one, load two, and ground. And since I'm going to do the rear entry, so I drill a hole on this wall mount using a step bit. This is a step bit drill that I bought. And at the same time, a hole big enough to get the cable passed through. And then this is coming from our basement. By the way, guys, our basement is unfinished. So um, we will uh, show you how I ran the cable uh, from this uh, area to our basement towards the electrical panel. I already mark where I would like to put this. It's already pre-marked and there's already a hole that I drill says so that I could go straight and screw this wall mount, okay, for the Tesla charger. And at the same time, Tesla also provided the tie wrap. So this is a tie wrap that will secure all your electrical wiring. I already put it in because it's kind of like challenging to put it in inside. Okay. Tesla wall charger mount is now secured to the wall. I added a cable clamp to secure the wire to the wall mount. This is not part of the Tesla wall charger kit. This wire is a Romex 6AWG 90 degree C rated copper wire conductors. This is the minimum requirement uh, recommended by Tesla for maximum power of 48 ampere. Make sure you apply light pressure to avoid cutting too deep and damage your inner wires.
they strip the length. So I'll just use this to uh, find out how long they strip of the length. And that's where I'm gonna score it with, with my cutter round. Okay. The Tesla wall connector provided three connections, one for the ground and two for the load. Each load carry 110 volts. The cable is now installed. Using a torque driver, we will now secure our connection with 50 pound force of torque. Our wall plate is mounted and it's pretty solid. All the screws are provided by Tesla, except for this uh, you know, cable clip that I added to secure this cable. Now we're gonna mount the Tesla cover. Guys, finally, we installed our Tesla wall charger. Okay, so let me wind this up. Let me remove that one. It's kind of long. I think there's about 20 feet. So this will allow the car to get charged, even if it's outside. The cable is kind of heavy. So, we can put this now on our Tesla wall charger. Here is our Tesla wall charger, fully mounted on the garage. I'm gonna put it here on the holder, just like that. So there's a hook right there, you put it on the holder, just like that. So guys, while I was installing this, the other end of the electrical wiring are not connected yet to the panel. So there is, uh, this is not live yeah, at this point in time. So the next thing that I'm going to do right after this is go to my electrical panel and then install the 60 amp breaker and then install the end of the Tesla electrical outlet on my panel so that I could power it on. I will show you how I do that. Since we have unfinished basement, this is how I ran the Tesla cabling, uh, electrical cabling to the main panel. Guys, this time I'm down here on the basement. And this is where we're gonna install the cable of our Tesla uh, wall charger, okay, to our circuit breaker. I already opened it. I didn't anymore show that to you. And at the same time, right here is a 60 amp breaker. That is the minimum requirement for Tesla wall charger. By the way, guys, when buying a circuit breaker, make sure it match your panel. So you will notice that I'm wearing a plus light. I will need it. One, two, okay. I'm all light. All right, now let's start switching off our breaker. No rush. Okay, now lights off. And then we're gonna switch the main breaker. There you go. Now I'm gonna check. And using a tester, I'm gonna check if my breaker is completely powered up. Of course, 
this wire right here are hot wire. They are the one that comes from the electric company. So don't touch those. So now this is where the negative are. And then I'm gonna point to one of the uh, hot wire block, zero. Can you focus on that zero? Zero, zero. And this is the tool open here that I'm gonna use for the Tesla. Okay, so it's zero right now. So zero right here, zero on the other end. So which means we are safe to work. Guys, this is my circuit breaker for my panel. So I'm about to install it. So make sure it's on the opposition. So I'm gonna use these two bacon slot above for this install. So I'm gonna slide it here. I have to put it, slide and then snap and then push. Make sure that is sitting right there. There you go. The next thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna run our cable from the panel. Since our white or neutral wire will carry a load, I will wrap it with a black electrical tape. At this point, I'm installing our electrical wiring to the 60 amp breaker. Make sure that you label your electrical wiring properly. At this point, I already turn on all the circuit breakers and the main panel and I'm testing it to make sure that there is power to each of our circuit breaker, including the new Tesla installed 60 ampere breaker. This is the first time powering on the wall charger. Anyana is in front of it while I'm powering on the circuit breaker. Guys, it's on. There is five bar right there, which means we're getting the maximum power output from our wall charger. First time charging our Tesla from the wall charger. Blue. Then it's green. This means that our Tesla are charging from the wall charger. Now let's look inside on our infotainment screen how it looks like. See that charging? It means that it's charging. How it's charging? It states that it needs 2 hours and 25 minutes to charge up to 80% and it's charging at maximum power of 48 ampere. This is good guys. Guys, we finally completed the installation of our Tesla wall charger at home and if you can see you know the car is charging right now and if you look at here on the Tesla wall charger see that the uh, bar the number of bars like about five according to the uh, manual if you got like five like this 
you're getting the maximum charge of 48 ampere. We are happy to say that we are able to successfully install one at home. And I am thankful to Tesla. They provide the document very straightforward and easy to follow, to be honest. Installing a 220 volt outlet should not be something intimidating, should be simple. Uh, unless otherwise you are not comfortable working with uh, electrical wiring, so please do hire an electrician or a professional. Guys, I want you to know that I'm not a professional uh, electrician. So we are more of a DIY person. Me and Anyana love to do home project and this one of it. Okay, so another thing of having a home wall charger is basically um, a couple of things. One is safety. Uh, there are times we're in the middle of the night, you know, the car is running low on battery and we have to hit the nearest supercharger. Although there are two supercharger around here in my place uh, where I live, so to be out there, uh, to spend about 15 minutes sitting out there in the middle of the night is something that we found not safe. So that's why we try to have a Tesla home wall charger at home. And then another thing is convenience. All you have to do if you got like lawn battery, go straight home and then plug it in and then that's it. When you wake up in the morning, your car is fully charged. And then third thing is that what I understand is that if you are charging at home, you are spending less than the supercharger. If you enjoy and learn something out of this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to Anyana TV. Until here guys, on our next video, bye!